Hi, St. Therese family. How is everybody doing? Such a beautiful day outside today that it made me think of one of my favorite stories called Up North at the Cabin. This story is written by Marsha Wilson Chall. She actually visited us at the OLC last year and she signed my book. So I'll show that to you. Here it is. It says, for all the readers at St. Therese ELC, love Marsha Wilson Chall. So it's kind of cool to have her. This is a Minnesota story. The paintings in this story are done by Steve Johnson, and this book is published by Lothrop Lee and Shepherd Books out of New York. So like I said, this is one of my favorite Minnesota stories, and on this beautiful sunshiny day, I wanted to share it with you. On the way up north to the cabin, the sunshine sits in my lap all morning. I know the way by heart, past the big walleye statue on Lake Mille Lacs, a few more miles to the live deer park, till all the trees are birch and pine, and houses are made from logs that look like shiny pretzels. Up north at the cabin, I'm a smart angler. Grandpa tries pink spinners, leeches, and dragonflies, but I know what, what fish like. I bait my hook with peanut butter and worm sandwiches, then jig my line and wait. Grandma serves my sunnies with fried potatoes and corn on the cob. We eat at the long table on the screen porch, sitting next to one another on the same side so we can all watch the loons dance down the sun. This is one of my favorite pictures. I love how the water sparkles. Up north at the cabin, I'm a great gray dolphin. The lake is my ocean. From the dock, I dive headfirst, skimming over sand that swirls behind me, anchored to the bottom, upside down. I am an acrobat in a perfect handstand. Then rising in a sea of air bubble balloons, I float on a carpet of waves. Up north at the cabin, I am a fearless voyager, guiding our canoe through the wilderness. The river spills over rocks and whispers to me, Quishawee quishawee and rushes on to anywhere. Like a house on stilts, a bull moose stands in the shallows. His chest heaves and rumbles, mighty as a diesel engine. He shakes his great head, rocking branches of bone as he bellows a warning. Here's the moose. You can see him there. Ahead to the beaver dam, the voyager commands. On the portage trail, we sling the canoe over our heads. It's backbone to the sky. We trudge along, an armored beetle, homeward bound. Up north at the cabin, I'm a daredevil. Keep your knees bent, calls Uncle Roy. I clutch the tow rope, bobbing up and down in my yellow life vest. The motor sputters softly, waiting. My legs stiffen in the skis. Hit it, I yell. The boat roars forward, the tow line snaps tight. I leap from the water riding the waves. Lean back, they scream. How much, I think. I then smack the water like an angry northern pike. I fall three times. A flip, a somersault, the splits. Want to try again, they ask. Papa skims the silver water on only one ski. Yes, I shout. Up north at the cabin, I am always brave. Even in the dark woods, when blood thumps through my head like old Ojibwe drums, it said they beat for two full moons when Chief McQuaw's son rode to the sugar bush but never came home. I stand and listen, and I think I hear them still. Up north at the cabin, we are almost ready to go. I check under the bed, take down our clothesline, pack my snorkel and fins, then one last thing. I look all around me at the screen porch, at the creaky branch I hear at night, at the chipmunk hole under the stoop, at the tufted island in the bay, at the spot in the sky where the North Star shines, I shut my eyes tight and fix them in my mind. So when I'm far away from summer, when frosted windows cloud the sun, I close my eyes and once again, I am up north at the cabin. I hope this story gives you warm memories of being at your cabins in the summer or at a lake or enjoying outdoors. Hopefully we'll be able to do all of those things together soon. I miss you.